Yo, what is going on, peeps? Um, I just tried coffee for the first time. Like, I mean, I've had iced coffee before, but like hot coffee, this is my first try. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty fucking great. I'll say it's pretty great. Uh, I'm having a good time. I'm on my third cup, and I feel like I could fist fight a mountain lion. That's our, that's our mission today. We are going to fist fight a mountain lion. Yeah! Uh, it's been a morning already. Um, I don't really have a lot to say. Just wanted to do another vlog. Uh, I guess I'll review this coffee since it's my first time drinking coffee. Um, I've tried two different kinds now. French vanilla and uh, mocha flavored. I definitely like the mocha better. French vanilla just doesn't have as rich of a chocolate taste to me. Which I guess that's the point. Mocha is chocolate. So, yeah. Larry the Cable Guy. Don't ask me why. I don't know. I'm not a fan of Larry the Cable Guy. <laughs> but uh, obviously as a non-coffee drinker. I uh, do not have my own collection of coffee mugs like my stepdad does. So I just took one of his. This is usually the cup that I mix my ramen noodle flavoring in. So, But I'm having fun. I've got a lot of energy. I'm going to hang out with the friends later. The boys. I'm going to hang out with the boys. It's probably just chill and talk. Play some video games maybe. Either way. It's a beautiful day, and I hope you guys are having just as great of a morning as I am. If you're not, I apologize, and I 100% sincerely hope your day gets better. Get her done. Whatever the fuck your R is, and get her done. Get her done. Do your thing. Be the best you, you can be today. If not... Be the second best you you can be today. Be like, I can't live up to that best me. Can't do that today, just not feeling it. And be like, that second best me seems pretty cool though. Uh, I can settle for him. I mean, he's been late a few times. You know, he knows how to ride a bike. He's an alright guy, I can be him today. Either way. Live up to your potential today. Whether it be your full potential... Or just a little bit of a t of potential. Just just do something. I don't know. I'm I'm really bad at giving advice, especially when I'm this hyped up on coffee. But, but my uh, my main point here is uh, enjoy your day. I don't know. I, <laughs> coffee makes me burp. If you're having a bad day, have a good one. Yeah. You can't see it terribly well, but there is a deer right there. And every day I look out this window and see that deer and go, oh, hey, a deer. And then I remember that that is my aunt's house. And she has had that fake deer out there for at least 20 years. And yet, every morning, I still think to myself, Oh shit, a deer. A little, a little food for thought uh, while I'm making this fourth cup of coffee. Why do they not make cool shirts for bigger sized people? Ah! I, I, I don't understand. We don't have, we don't, we don't have good clothes. We don't have good shirts. We don't have good pants. Nothing. We are left out from fashion. Okay? I know the this progressive... Um... Society, culture, whatever... That we are currently in... Is making it more acceptable. Like, less judgy to be someone my size. But, uh... It needs to be a, a lot... A lot less judgy, still. 
because people still very much so look down on overweight people a lot I mean I've went my whole life not my whole life but I've went most of my life um, having to deal with people making fun of me uh, judging me verbally shitting on me basically uh, just because I'm overweight does that make me any less of a person than you you, um, when I say you, I'm talking to the skinny people, obviously. But does that really make me any less of a person? I don't think so. No, actually, technically it makes me more of a person because I am bigger than you. So, I just really want to know why society looks at overweight people so harshly. Like, I know it's unhealthy. It's not something you want to be proud of, of course. It's not something you're yeah, like, dude! I'm fat and you're not, you fucking square. No, it's not something you're going to go around bragging to people about or anything like that. But, it's also not something that people should get judged for so harshly. Okay, do we want mocha? That's hot chocolate. We don't want hot chocolate. We need, we need coffee. I lost my train of thought. We don't want French vanilla. Actually, hold on, this is a different kind. Caramel cream. I don't know if I want that one. I'm gonna try it, though. Why the fuck not? <sighs> Sorry, Mocha. It's not your day today, buddy. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Just... Just... Stop. Just stop. Okay? I'm overweight. I'm working on it. But just because... I'm working on it. Doesn't mean I'm not still overweight. So. Did I put the water in everything? I did everything right? Yeah. Okay. Brew! So, basically. Oh, I'm trying to make a point here. I'm just not good at it. What I'm trying to say is, do not look, look, do not look down upon overweight people. Sometimes, it's not their fault. Sometimes it is. Obviously, some people just eat and eat and eat. That's the way it be. Me personally, I'm big because I have a disorder. I don't know if it, I don't know if you call it a disorder. I know it's not a disease, but I have hypothyroidism. I have since I don't know. I was probably like 11 or maybe before that, but that's when I was diagnosed with hypothyroidism, which means my thyroid does not, uh, I don't know precisely if it works or if it's just inactive. I don't know the specifics. I'm not a doctor. But, um, my thyroid, your thyroid is what uh, controls your metabolism. Make sure, make sure that your metabolism is working correctly. Mine is inactive, so my metabolism is basically non-existent. But, I'm working on it. I'm eating better. I'm working out. And, yeah, I'll be better. But what sucks is that society has made me believe that I am not worth shit until I am skinny. That I, that no one could make, could ever find me attractive or anything like that unless I lose all of this weight. Now, I have lost quite a bit. At the end of 2019, I was damn near 400 pounds. And I am very much closing in on 300 now, so... It's not a big difference, but when you look at old pictures of me, it's, it's, a, it's a noticeable difference. So, yeah, if you take anything from this rambling, um, take from it, fat people, overweight people, are no different from you. They just like food more, or in my case, they just have uh, physical problems. So, no, 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 scratch all that. Don't just... Stop judging overweight people. Stop judging people in general, okay? I know it's our instinct because we're all pretty much raised to judge people, to think down upon those that are different, or that... You get what I'm saying. Humans fear things that are different from them. So skinny people are very much not a fan of overweight people. This is my dog Daisy, by the way. Hey, Daisy. She's a good dog. She, does, she likes fat people. She likes overweight people like me. But that's because when we're eating, we give her parts of our food. Either way, that's uh, the, the, beyond the point. Just stop judging people, okay? 
we're no different. We're all red underneath the skin. If you're not, I'm a little bit worried about you. Call a doctor, but I still love you just the same. Not judging. Do not judge. Just stop. Be nice people. Be good people. Love each other. I love you. You love me. Barney sucks. Let's go. Just a small update. The caramel flavored one is horrible. It's definitely the worst one yet. It's not the flavor exactly, it's it's the lack of flavor. It just tastes like coffee. Like like black ass coffee. Just straight up regular coffee. I think I've said coffee too many times. But uh, yeah, I don't like it very much. It's just as energizing, of course, because it's got the same amount of caffeine in it. But it does not taste very good. Gordon Ramsay would not like this coffee. I don't even... Does he drink coffee? I feel like if he drinks coffee... If Gordon Ramsay drinks coffee, he definitely drinks the most gourmet shit you could possibly find on this planet. Like, I fucking picked these beans myself. Uh, uh, that's a... Uh, can we strike that from the record? That was... I tried to do Gordon Ramsay, but... I don't know his voice well enough to do an impression. Either way... Um, yeah, thanks for watching Reese's Coffee Reviews. Bottom line, this one's fucking bad, dude. It, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Like, like rotten ass, bro. You ever eaten an ass that's rotten? This is the same fucking taste, I swear. Alright, we've got to do something about this, about this caramel coffee, because it's fucking horrible. Okay, what do we got here? We got... What the... Oh, creamer? We put some creamer in there? I don't know how to prepare coffee. And sugar. It definitely needs some motherfucking sugar. Ah, it needs some sugar. Hey, I need a spoon! Need a sugar spoon. Here's one. Alright, got one spoon. We're gonna try it after each one, because I don't really... I don't know how I like my coffee. Spoonful of sugar makes the coffee taste better. I don't know. I think that made it worse. Now it just tastes like sweet ass. But not like good sweet. Uh, hold on. Uh, creamer? I gotta put the phone down. Creamer. I don't know. Let's try it. There's not very much light over here. Let's try it. Get that in there. Yep, 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 yep. All right, we're using coffee made creamer. Do you guys, I want you. I want to know. Do you guys, you coffee drinkers? Sorry, that's my finger. Um, do you guys drink your coffee with creamer? Just, just, I, I was gonna ask a certain question, but I really just want to know everything. Do you guys drink your coffee with creamer? Do you drink it with sugar? Do you... How much sugar? How much creamer? Do you take it black? I don't know shit. Okay, it looks lighter after I put the creamer in, so I'm feeling like it's going to be better. Okay. 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 We starting to get some. Uh, what do we want to add? I'm going to add. I feel like I added too much sugar. So we're going to uh, ease it off with some more creamer. I might be fucking it up. Watch, I had it at an ex acceptable level that last time before I put this spoonful of creamer in. Oh, it's getting real light now. Oh, shit! I smelled it on myself. Fuck! Fuck! Right on my sock, dude. Right on. Ooh, that went through to the foot. Ooh. Shit is hot, boy. Dude. All right. Mm. Ooh. All right, let's see. <laughs> it's good it caused me pain, but does it taste good? Uh, 
It has no flavor. But that's better than it tasting bad. So I'll, I'll uh, leave it where it stands. Uh, try something else later. I don't know. I don't... It has no flavor. A lot of people like it so much. It has no flavor. I don't understand. Guys, I don't understand. Actually, no, I do understand. I think it's just for the energy. But I don't really like consuming things unless they taste good. Just ask your mom. That's why I stopped going down on her two seconds in. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that one very much. Like the mocha. And, the, I mean, I didn't even like the French vanilla that much. But... Uh, it was better than this. Both of them were extremely better than I didn't have to add fucking cream and sugar. Creamer and sugar to either of those. Might get dark now. I'm going to turn the lights off. We're going to go back to my room. I don't know why I'm vlogging my journey from my room, to, from my kitchen to my room. <gasps> when was coffee invented? I know they had it in cowboy times. You drink coffee in Red Dead Redemption too. Damn it, Dutch, I thought you said you had a plan. I didn't have enough of a draw on that one. Damn it! Damn it, Dutch, I thought Nah, I can't do it. Damn it, Dutch, I thought you said you had a plan. Eh, I tried. <sighs> Yeah, it's not that bad. I made it alright. I made it acceptable. You tune in next time for another episode of Reese's Coffee Reviews. Where you we review coffee and then shit it out of our ass. Before the day is done, this coffee will give me the runs. Hey, coming at you live from the TRS bathroom slash recording studio. I am uh, making sure that the coffee safely finds its way from my bowels into the sewer. And uh, it's going well, I can report. It's going pretty well. Seems to be some severe shit winds coming in. And, um, yeah. So now I guess I've gotten the full experience of coffee. And I'm glad that you guys experienced that along with me. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Maybe I'll poop in that episode too.